Well, hey there, and welcome back to the How to Homeschool channel. Today, we're going to talk about things you can do if you really hate your homeschool curriculum. I hate it. This is the season where probably so many of you have gone out and got a whole new homeschool curriculum and you started it and you've gone. What's this? What is this? Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about seven things you can do to make the journey a little bit smoother or what you can do if it's not working. The first thing to do is just to give it a shot. Give it some time. A lot of people start using our curriculum and honestly, they really hate it. Sometimes it's just that they haven't spent enough time getting acquainted with the curriculum itself. They actually haven't sat down with the curriculum. They've expected perhaps the curriculum they've bought is going to be an open and go box where you just give it to your children and they do it themselves. Some curriculum are not like that. And sometimes that's a good thing because it makes them more flexible. You're able to customize it to your child. But then the downside of that is that it isn't open to and go. And if that is what you're expecting, then it may take a little bit of time for you to work through the curriculum to figure out how it's supposed to work. And so what I would advise you to do is if you've bought a curriculum in the first, second week, you're like, this isn't working. Give it some time, honestly. It's, it's a little bit like you get something new and you're like, I hate it. But then once you figure out how to use it, you're like, oh, actually it's not so bad. And you might end up loving the curriculum you have at the moment. So that's my first bit of advice for you, especially just a few weeks after school season is starting. I'm thinking this is a good thing to advise. The second thing I want you to do, if you have a curriculum that is just painful and you're not enjoying it, is to just skip the painful bits. Now, this won't be possible with all different homeschooling curriculum, but it will definitely be possible with some, and it can really convert perhaps the expensive homeschool curriculum you've bought into a curriculum you actually like. For example, I use BJU Press. I love it, but honestly, I skip so much of the curriculum. I skip what my child already knows, and I know it's just busy work that the curriculum puts in there. And you as a parent have to use your intuition to go, okay, does my child know this? And is this actually just boring my child and killing their interest in education, which is, by the way, the thing you absolutely don't want to do when you're homeschooling your child. The third thing you can do is to switch the format. Perhaps you are using a very book-based lesson and the child is hating reading. Well, maybe you can switch that and find the books in audio version, perhaps on YouTube, or you can get an Audible subscription. And this will really help you to increase interest in the subject once again. Perhaps you're just like, well, this curriculum is not working. We need to change the curriculum format and we'll talk more about changing curriculum a little later on. That's a good way to think about it. I think there's a curriculum called the Robinson curriculum and it's just basically this huge big PDF you get and you can keep and you can use it for all your children at the same time. But if it's just one format, it's a little bit boring sometimes. I would argue that you switch it up and use video lessons when they're, they're good. You could use YouTube lessons if you want. You could use LibriVox. Um, I'm a big fan of LibriVox. They're free audio books you can get. So switch up the format. The fourth thing you can do if you really hate your homeschool curriculum is to supplement the bits you hate. A lot of people use and love My Father's World, but My Father's World does get very crafty and very hands-on. And you as a parent really have to be there with your children. If you don't like craft, then it's tricky. So what you can do is just skip the crafty bit, which is what one of my subscribers said she actually does, or you can just supplement the concept you were supposed to be teaching with the craft with a video or something else that is more palatable to your liking or your children's liking. Now, if you really don't like your homeschool curriculum, you can always change. Now, perhaps you're thinking, well, that's really easy. I've just spent so much money on this curriculum. How am I just supposed to change curriculum? It's not like I have loads of money here. 
Well, the wonderful thing about homeschooling is that there are actually lots of free homeschooling resources and free homeschool curriculum out there. So if you're thinking, I really hate what I've got at the moment, then just go with Easy Peasy or Ambleside Online and do that until you've got a budget to buy another homeschool curriculum if you want a paid curriculum. There's also Schoolhouse Teachers. I will link it down below. It is super affordable. You can get curriculum for all grades, for all children they have a huge amount of electives so that's a wonderful option if you want to switch curriculum ideally you want to have researched into curriculum before you even started to buy it in the beginning I go through this in my homeschool parenting program which is like a homeschool 101 course for parents because I see parents running into lots of different issues and spending so much money they didn't need to spend. And so I've made this course to really help. And it's a really affordable course too, because I know homeschool parents don't have a lot of money to splash around. It's really affordable. And so you can learn how to avoid all these mistakes I see new homeschooling parents make all the time. The other thing you should do if you really don't like the homeschool curriculum you're using now, is to talk to other homeschool parents, perhaps in your homeschool group or perhaps in your church and just say, look, I've got this issue with this curriculum I'm using at the moment and I'm honestly really not liking it. Can you help me? And a lot of people who have been homeschooling for five, 10, 15 years sometimes have really good advice. So I advise you to take their advice and use it. The difference between having people to advise you with homeschool and not has been the difference between so many people choosing to continue homeschooling and to not continue homeschooling. My own parents were considering sending us back to school in middle school and they're like, we can't teach mathematics anymore and so we have to teach them. Then they had a chat to the homeschool parents at my church and they said, hey, have you considered an online homeschool curriculum, something that is perhaps accredited or something that the government runs? And my parents, that was the difference between them keeping on homeschooling and not keeping on homeschooling. And that is where advice can get you. It is honestly so, 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 so valuable. Another thing that is valuable is to subscribe to this homeschool channel. I'm gonna be giving you lots more information and tips on homeschooling and you're really going to love it. Now, my next point, if you don't like the curriculum you're using is just to swap curriculum. Now, I know this is a very emotional decision. It's often as emotional as if you're going to switch your coffee brand. I can't do it. But sometimes it's the best thing to do. You know, sometimes you'll get a curriculum and you'll think, oh, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be wonderful. It's gonna fulfill all these needs. And then you try it and it's disaster. And you think to yourself, this just isn't going to work for me. I'm gonna throw it out and we will try again. We'll start with something else that is going to work. But you don't just wanna pick another curriculum that you're gonna hate. And so I would really advise you, if you haven't already done it, to look into the homeschool methods in this video. And then you can have a look at these videos here, which are some of the best Christian homeschool curriculum programs available today.